Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see a demo on shiny navbar layout. Navbar layout allows us to create website like navigation through tabs. These tabs may be individual pages, it may contain um, verbiage, text, data sets, or widgets we can have sidebar um, within this we can also have sub menu items something like this as you can see i have got a sub menu item a which has um, a status uh, uh, um, uh, stat summary page um, then we i've got another sub menu item with some hyperlinks pretty much looking like a website like navigation uh, menu items which we have on the top of the page. Let's look at the code We will be introducing a new function navbar page which we are going to use in this navbar layout The typical structure of navbar navbar page is um, We we have tab panels to, so these tabs are created using tab panels so if we want um, three tabs, we should have three tab panels or basically we should we should have as many tab panels as the number of tabs we want to create. If you want to have some menu in the tab, we create that using navbar menu function. So let's look at the actual code but pretty much this is how the structure and skeleton if you will um, is for navbar page looking at the actual code in the ui.r we are throughout this code we are going to use empty cars data set um, for demo we'll load the shiny package shiny ui function followed by a navbar page we have given the title as demo shiny navbar layout. We have the first tab panel. Inside that, I have given the uh, the tab title as about page. This is what you are going to see. Let me run the app. So we have got the about page. This is the name of the tab. And inside this, I have given the text. So the text is this app uses navbar for layout and empty cards data set. I've got another tab which I've defined using tab panel once again. And the name of the tab is data page. And what I'm going to display here is um, the data set, empty cards data set. And this is coming from shiny uh, server.r file. Using the table output, I am displaying the data set got another tab which is where in i have sidebar layout uh, i have got the slider input widget and i am going to also have a plot there name of the tab is widgets and sidebar sidebar and as you can see in, in this widgets and sidebar, the kind of layout I have here is I have a sidebar on the left hand side and a main panel where I have this plot. So I'm going to use sidebar layout here. In the sidebar layout function, I've got sidebar panel. In the sidebar panel, I've got the slider input. Then I've got the main panel and in the main panel, I've got this plot output basically the plot coming from the server.r file so far we just had the tabs but now we are going to make this um, sub menu items we have got two sub menu items here menu item a menu item b for the sub menu items we are going to use the function nav bar menu and the main menu has got the title menu options and so we have got menu options here and then these menu options are nothing but individual pages or tabs 
and so we call them uh, we 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 create them using tab panel once again tab panel menu item a another tab panel for the sub menu item b what we have here is in the first in the first sub menu item i've got summary stats so i use a verbatim text output to get that uh, dis to display the summary stats and this is coming from server.r for the sub menu item b i've got some hyperlinks code here which is uh, basically displaying some text and um, the hyperlink code this is pretty much about this ui you might have more sub menu items or uh, you can customize this but um, this is just a demo showing the basic navigation let's uh, have a quick look at the server.r server.r we pretty much have the code required for the um, um, data set output the plot 